All right, I'm leaving the camper. I'm going to go hiking um, by myself. my little backpack. I didn't bring my big one because I don't think I need the big giant one. I'm not going to travel that long. It's going to be an hour and a half because I got to get back to give off at her medication. So I already checked everything. It's good and it's going to be about 60 degrees so it's going to be good weather today. I brought layers so I can take this off if I'm hot. That's my camper and I got the firewood over there drying. So we'll see what happens later today. On my way. My camper is over here. You can see it right there. So I'm in number three, number one. Yeah, they don't want to go. They're older than me. So, you know, some of them, they don't like walking a lot. So this is where I am. So this is where it was yesterday. I'm going to go back there again. All right, so that's the sign for trail. I got to make a left. Just reminding myself. so gorgeous i can't imagine what heaven looks like when you come to places like this you feel like you're in heaven i can't imagine how beautiful heaven must be over there and it's just making me want to go it's just a shining little shimmer and i know that's the creek it's so pretty there's benches all across here so you can walk but you can still sit down and rest lots of benches i just left one right over there i sat for a little bit and now there's one over here i don't know if we'll be able to get that close to the creek it looks like there might be like some marsh or something so some of the things I realized on this trip is that um, because of Muffin, my life is going to change a lot for traveling now. And most likely it's going to include things like this where I park at a campground, like a state park, and just hike and enjoy myself and be back in time to give her her medication and take her out and just have to do things like that for now. I can't really go out too far and too much movement is not good for her. So that constant traveling and stopping is not gonna be good for her. Um, I know that's what I have planned for the rest of the week. So I have to take into consideration that I have to move slower. There might be things on my list I can't get done because of that, because I have to be able to park and be able to walk back at a certain time. And other places I'm going to, I have to be able to park there. So I'm able to walk her when she needs to go out. So, um, but I'm not discouraged. I'm not discouraged because remember things always stay on my Google Maps. I don't get to do them today. I'll get to do them another time, hopefully. So I'll just do the ones that are most important to me right now. Hey, a plane overhead. Getting close, super close. All right, that is the water, but there's like some marsh or something in front of it so I'm not gonna be able to get too close to it and I saw that in the map I saw that there was like a barrier between the actual creek and the water and the water there's another trail this way but this is a loop trail it goes around I think it's at two miles and it goes all the way around but I'm not gonna be doing that so I'm by myself and I gotta be back for a muffin and I can't walk that long so I gotta be conscious of the time that I have so I'm gonna get back and walk her. So yeah, this is the creek. The water is way out there. Look how beautiful that is. Wow, that view is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Just looking for gators here. Make sure I don't get too close. I didn't bring my gun. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Amazing. I don't know if you can see the glimmer back there of the lake, but there is like growth before getting to the lake.
There's deer over there. Do you see them? There's deer right over there. You can see them. They're right there walking. Let me see what happens when I move. Let's see what happens. It's just standing there looking at me. Right there in the middle of the trail, he's just standing there looking at me. Two of them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray for this. I pray to see a beautiful deer. Hello? Look, they're wagging their tail at me. Yeah, they're, they're babies. They're not too big. They were in the bushes. They went that way. Right there, there's one right that just came right out. You can see part of his butt right there. I don't know if he went around. I heard some more over on this some movement over here. There's lots of deer in this place. Lots and lots. There it goes. He went inside. I'm going to keep filming because that would, it might be them. And the other one might just show up. They usually travel in pairs. It's a little cricket there. Hey. Look at you. I feel it's this way, but I'm just going to walk a little bit this way. I'm just super excited of all of this over here. It's been an hour since I left, so I took Muffin out. So I can do about probably 30 more minutes. So deer tracks. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. And there's one here. You can tell that they've been here because they're all over the place here. The deer tracks. That's pretty big. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.